peacock bass in Florida versus in their native Amazon. Hey there, fellow adventurers and fishermen. This is Alec from um, Adventures in Fishing Tales with another exciting uh, video story. Today we're going to be talking about the differences of peacock bass fishing here in South Florida versus in the Amazon where they're native. So we're going to be really diving into this thrilling comparison of peacock bass fishing in an urban environment here in South Florida, in, in Miami in particular, and contrasting that to the native Amazon where I've gone twice peacock bass fishing. So let's do this. First, let's cast our lines locally into the canals here in uh, the urban canals of Miami. Beautiful setting amongst um, palm tree and subtropical lush gardens going through suburbia on a bass boat. It's really chill and relaxing and the fishing is quite amazing. Five, six pound peacock bass are not uncommon in the Miami Canal system. Smaller guys in the backcountry, the Everglades, but that's a, a more wild experience, almost akin to what you would get in the Amazon. And, and f fishing for uh, peacocks here in South Florida, you could target them on fly with top waters or live bait, little, little tiny, little tiny shiners. I, I prefer fly fishing uh, for them, but I've used, I've done all three and a lot of it is sight casting. You get to really see where, uh, they're bedding if it's their, uh, spawning season and a lot of sight casting for the peacocks here in South Florida. Now let's take a journey to the heart of the Amazon. The native home of peacock bass is about 16 different peacock bass species. Uh, in Brazil, I've caught about four or five of them. I'm not gonna differentiate all of them, but we're gonna talk in general about the peacock bass down in Brazil. Here the experience is completely different than what you would find in an urban canal system or even the backcountry of the Everglades. Uh, here it's wild, it's jungle, it is untamed. You're contending with uh, anacondas, if, you, if you're lucky enough to see them, pink dolphins or both those that will attack your peacock bass as you release them all other kinds of, of um, animals, monkeys, howler monkeys, parrots, macaws, just a, an amazing jungle scenery. So it's a completely different ball game in the Amazon fishing for them as compared to an urban environment here that I mentioned. So how do these two stack up? Well, each offers its, its unique ecosystem. Obviously, Florida provides way more accessible to uh, fishermen, particularly those in the United States. You can literally fly to Miami and, and hit any of the uh, urban canals and get peacock bass amongst other species. And it doesn't require a lot of equipment, a fly rod, a spinning rod, some lures, uh, any, any, um, any largemouth bass lures work for peacock bass. And they're, they're, they're really feisty fighters, really great on light tackle. All right, now, what about the Amazon? That's just freaking out of this world with completely different uh, ecosystem, a challenge. This is, you're now in their native environment. This is their territory. And you also have to contend with other species of fish, uh, such as piranhas, that will definitely rip apart any of the equipment that you're using. You need a heavier equipment in the Amazon than you do uh, here in South Florida for the sheer size of the peacock bass. So, um, yeah, just to be able to experience both fishing in South Florida for peacock bass and fishing in the Amazon for that is, 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 is amazing. Uh, they're worlds apart and the fish are absolutely amazing. And I will continue to fish for peacocks both here locally and in Brazil. Until later, tight lines.